Yes, it's still worth it to read technical documentation in 2025. Welcome back to Tommy Codes. My name is Tommy, let's jump right into it. If you're a software developer, you've undoubtedly encountered technical documentation. And I'm here to tell you that good documentation is the most information dense material you can possibly find. Good documentation is gonna be better than any video. It's gonna be better than any AI generated study guide. It is literally the gold standard of learning a new piece of technology. And even if you watch videos on 2X speed, it's not nearly as information dense as reading through good, well-written technical documentation. What am I talking about, by the way, technical documentation? I'm talking about, if you had to learn a new technology, let's say Docker, let's say Kubernetes, there are official websites hosted by maintainers of these software, and they contain a wealth of information written by some of the best technical writers out there, and they detail all of the core concepts in these technologies. So in the case of Kubernetes, you'd be talking about deployments, you'd be talking about services, namespaces, all of the core building blocks of the technology. And it's one thing to keep in mind, good documentation is all about concepts. Yes, a lot of times you're gonna have to read through documentation to find API specs, to figure out exactly how to use a particular piece of technology, but excellent documentation is gonna focus on the concepts, is gonna focus on the foundations. And I know it's cliche, but when you're building a house, you need a solid foundation. Anything you build on top of a weak foundation is not gonna be sturdy in the long run. It's the same with learning anything technical. Your foundation needs to be perfect. Your foundation needs to be extremely good. And good technical documentation is literally worth reading cover to cover, end to end. So go on the Kubernetes website and read through where they talk about deployments, services. They introduce why these concepts exist, what they are, the motivations behind all of them, what problems they're trying to solve. This type of stuff is so, so useful. The ROI you get on good technical documentation is absolutely insane. If you spend four hours reading through the Kubernetes technical documentation, I promise you that will pay for itself one million times over. It is a no brainer to do this kind of thing. And other technologies where it makes sense to do this, depends on what you're working with, of course, but you have deployment stuff. So you got Kubernetes, you got Docker, database stuff. So even if you're not a database engineer, somebody who's managing databases directly, if you have to work a lot with Postgres, MySQL, maybe ClickHouse, it's really worth it to open up the official documentation and sit through and read it cover to cover. And I know what you're thinking, well, can I just use AI? Why do I need to read through documentation? I can just ask AI any question I want about any of these technologies, and it's going to understand it at a deeper level. And maybe that's true, but I'm here to tell you, AI is not a replacement for reading through this stuff. It is not the same to have access to AI as it is to have a deep understanding for this technology that can only come from reading through documentation and just grinding through it. And if you think about it, good AI responses are basically just trying to mimic the best documentation that they've read. The highest signal to noise ratio is going to come from really good documentation. And if you're talking to an AI about Docker, about Postgres, about Kubernetes, it's going to be basically regurgitating what it read from the official docs. I know it can do a lot more than that, but that's how you have to think about it. You could have that knowledge yourself. Anyway, even if you wanted to ask it questions about these technologies or have it write you code to interact with this type of stuff, your ability to prompt the AI is going to be severely limited by your understanding and the vocabulary and terminology that you have available to you. If you spend the time to read through the Postgres SQL documentation and you understand the main concepts like databases, schemas, views, etc., then when you want the AI to do something for you, you can be a lot more explicit and your results are going to be a lot better anyway. So it's not like AI replaces that need. It's just that AI allows you to do things that you couldn't do before. It amplifies the skills and knowledge that you already have. So you might as well up your skills and knowledge as much as you can. It's very helpful. That's why I love reading through some of this documentation. And if we're talking about documentation, a lot of cutting edge technology is actually not well understood by LLMs. When LLMs go through training, there is a knowledge cutoff date. And so for a lot of current LLMs, that's somewhere in 2024. And of course, older technologies, like I keep using Postgres as an example, that hasn't changed that much from 2024 till now, but cutting edge stuff. So if you're talking about the model context protocol with Anthropic, or if we're talking about using the latest OpenAI API code features, these models are just not going to know about this stuff. And so if you want to be on the cutting edge, you're going to just have to sit down, suck it up and read through the docs. And I know that these LMs can do web search now, and that does help. Web search is not exactly the same as having that information just baked into the brain of the model. Often it's a much shallower understanding. And while this stuff is still helpful, if you wanna be on the cutting edge, there's no way around actually reading through documentation and understanding this stuff for yourself.
Where AI is really helpful with documentation is handling the specifics for you. So let's say you want to use the YouTube data API to scrape some data from different channels and get together a list of maybe competitor channels. Well, honestly, reading through this specific documentation there and figuring out exactly what APIs to call and the arguments, that kind of stuff is really boring. And that's a good use case for AI to actually help you. But don't let AI replace your understanding of a technology that's very different than reading through just random API docs, especially if you're only going to use something once. And the thing with reading through documentation, like understanding technologies at a deeper level, it's such an easy way to stand out. If you're working a software engineering job, and if you're a new grad, or if you just started and you want to make a good impression on your manager, on your team, on your company, taking the time to read through the technical documentation of a piece of technology that your team is using a lot. So maybe that's Postgres, maybe that's Kafka, maybe that's AWS, EC2, maybe it's any one of these particular pieces of technology. If you go out of your way, spend a few hours learning up about this stuff and become an expert, just declare yourself an expert with this stuff, everyone is going to notice and that will be rewarded. People will start coming to you, asking you questions. You'll become a person who knows what they're talking about. And again, the ROI is so high. It only takes a few hours, honestly, a lot of times reading through this stuff to actually start to see results. So not only will your peers be impressed, your managers will definitely notice this. It'll help you get promoted faster. It'll help you just advance in your career faster. It'll also just instill you with this confidence that you know any particular piece of technology is not out of your reach. Every single piece of technology is something that you could understand if you decided to, and if you wanted to sit down and become good at it. Of course, you're never gonna become an expert at every technology all at once, but you don't need to do that. If you end up working with a particular piece of technology a lot in your day to day, then you can decide to become an expert and you know that it's not gonna take you that long. And the more things that you dive deep into and the more distinct pieces of technology that you go out of your way to understand, the less time it's going to take going forward to learn new things because you're just gonna have a better understanding of how everything fits together and it's gonna just be way easier to jump in. And besides, if the time it takes you to become competent in technology continues to go down, then again, the ROI is even higher because instead of taking maybe four hours reading through docs, maybe it only takes you two this time. And maybe you already understand a lot of the other concepts. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite technical documentation that you've read before on the job? What's actually helped you the most? I wanna know in the comments. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Tommy Codes.